I want to show you some free and simple ways for editing a PDF document on your computer. They work for Mac and they work for Windows PC. And by edit, I mean changing the actual words that are on the PDF that are not otherwise editable, adding signature, adding annotation, highlighting, all that stuff is possible with the multiple different options I'm going to show you. You could choose your favorite. Let's jump in. So the very first option is actually directly on the Adobe website, and this lets you edit PDFs with comments. Now I'll put a link in the description to this platform, but PDF, this document type, is actually created by this company called Adobe. So this is obviously gonna be the most safe and secure option for using this method, but I will show you two other options as well if you don't wanna use this method. So go ahead and select your PDF. Now I just have a sample PDF that I just downloaded by Googling a sample PDF. This is going to ask you to sign in using one of these methods, so I'll go ahead and do that. Now with this Adobe Online Editor, Adobe Acrobat, you could just go to this side and press Edit Text and Images, and it's going to scan and make things editable, meaning you could double click on text actually, and delete individual words or letters, and type your own in the same font. So if you wanted to make any changes like that, this allows you to do that. Let me go ahead and close this up. This also has a bunch of options for organizing pages, cropping images, and when you're happy, you could just go ahead and press download. And if for some reason it's not free when you're watching this video, you could also try just a free trial. They offer a free trial to their more advanced editor, which is called Adobe Acrobat Pro. And they typically have a seven day free trial for that. So you could edit Adobe documents, PDF documents with the more advanced editor. The online editor should be free though. This one does have a free trial which this is a application you download on your computer. And this has ton of advanced options. So I usually go to tools and edit PDFs and you could just do this on your desktop. You don't have to use the online editor. Again, this is a paid version with a seven day free trial if the other version is not working. Now let me show you two other options. Now there are a ton of PDF editors that are online, but almost all of them don't let you edit the actual text. They let you highlight and add signatures if you Google that, for example but this one lets you do everything. So I'm gonna upload that same PDF document. This is again an online editor. And with this, once you upload your PDF, you could double click text here and you could actually delete entire sentences, for example, and type your own text instead. So this is fully editable. You could also change the formatting, existing formatting, like if I was to bold something, change the font even or the color of the existing text and you have annotation, all kinds of options up here where you could just go ahead and add your own signature here and then click on it and place it anywhere within your page. Now for sensitive documents, I just prefer to use a desktop version. So I got the seven day free trial of Adobe Acrobat Pro, but you could also use the free online Acrobat editor or this platform again is free and they do have quite a bit of users. I looked at their visitors and it looks like they almost have 8 million users using this platform every month. And the last option I wanted to show you is by using Microsoft Word. Now I have a subscription to Microsoft Word, but just in case you already have Microsoft Word, which if you're on most computers, you already have it. So if you right click on the document on Mac or PC, you could open it with Microsoft Word or you could just open up Microsoft Word and go to File and Open and open that PDF document. Now, most people don't know this, but Microsoft Word actually lets you edit a PDF. This was a PDF document. This was not a Word document, but it's fully editable. I could, again, type my own text. It understands the formatting, the font, and you have all the same options as you have with everything else that is inside of Microsoft Word. And when you're happy, all you have to do is you could go up here to file and you'll have to go ahead and save as, and you could save this as a PDF. So instead of a Word doc, just choose PDF right here and under dropdown. So I'll go ahead and call this version two, press export. And this is the file I just saved and it's a full PDF document that I just edited in Microsoft Word. So you don't have to save it as Word, you could save it as a Adobe PDF file. Between those three options, you should have some options for editing your PDF document any way you like. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.